All right, YouTube. So today we're gonna be doing a little unboxing of some uh, pretty pretty badass stuff for the Cadillac, uh, my 2009 Cadillac. My 05 CTSV is down at my tuner still, trying to work on doing a flex fuel conversion on a P59 computer. If you don't know much about that, look it up. If you've ever thought about having a headache, um, definitely a pain in the butt. Didn't realize the P59 computer was an issue with the flex fuel. P67 computers like a 06 and up. It's, it's pretty simple. 04 through 05 CTSVs are a pain in the butt. They got a different throttle, pedal, resistance with the fly-by-wire. <clears throat> nah, it's just a pain in the butt. Anyways, we got the 09 CTSV parts. Some of it came in uh, Black Friday shopping earlier in the week on Black Friday week and came in pretty quick. Uh, looking forward to this one because it's going to be... Uh, we're aiming, don't know if you know, but we're aiming for about 1,000 wheel horsepower out of the 09. Um... We got some upgrades coming in. Right now it's at like five, 586, 589 wheel from the guy I bought it from. Um, hoping, to, hoping to really crank it up a little bit, uh, doing some mods. I'll show you the rest of the mods later on, but today is the Black Friday deal day, so it came in. <clears throat> this would probably like give it away, like, What's in this box is kind of, that's going to definitely give it away, but, uh, of course the title is going to give it away too. Not like, uh, hide anything when I title stuff, <clears throat> but I figured I'd do an unboxing because there's not a whole lot of people, I couldn't find the information I wanted when I kind of looked uh, on the internet. So this is the kit for a CTSV versus the ZL1. And there's a difference. Maybe you guys can watch this video and compare somebody else's video. Make a comment on what is different. Um, I really didn't know there was a difference. I know you put ZL1 parts on the CTSV, but maybe there is something different. I'm gonna lay everything out, show you guys what came in the kit. That's it. So yeah, I went with nitrous outlet. Uh, I've already got a spacer. The guy I bought it from already had a normal spacer without the spray bars in it, just a normal aluminum spacer, which is like $500 for some reason. Ridiculously overpriced. So I figured I could probably sell my used one, a um, couple hundred bucks, which kind of gives me the same delivery as that. You know, supposedly the spacers are supposed to pick up like 30 horsepower on the CTSVs, just the spacer, not the nitrous spacer, just the spacer in general supposedly by more plenum volume. I don't know if that makes sense in the supercharger, but uh, that's what it's supposed to do. I understand getting having more time for the air to cool down in the supercharger, you know, even though it's not going through the, the brick yet, still to dissipate some of that heat in the bay. I can understand maybe a little bit of power there, but 30 horsepower is a lot. But uh, anyways, there's the kit for the CTSV specific. It's upside down, but yeah. We'll go ahead and flip it the right way. I'm not going to try to make you guys get drunk. <clears throat> so that's a, it says clearly CTSV LSA blower kit. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe somebody can comment below. Um, there's your lines. I imagine that's probably the difference. Is it going to be in the line set? So it's the only thing I can think of. I don't know if this is marked. Yep, this is marked to CTSV. So it's got a CTSV sticker. 
So maybe some of this stuff is different too. I imagine the wiring and all that stuff has got to be all the same. There can't be much differences in that. Um, and maybe the pills are different. I don't know. Maybe that's the difference in this kit versus the, the ZL1 kit. This is marked no marking. So I imagine this is all the same. Um, there's your fuel line, nitrous line, solenoids with brackets, already got the fittings on it, which looks awesome. Looks like a really easy kit to put in. Very happy with how that looks. Let's go ahead and open the, the bottle up. I'm trying not to totally destroy the box. Let me get something else. They have got that secured pretty good. And I missed one. There's the bottle. I mean, it's pretty nice. Um, let's see what date they got in this thing. So it's certified 17, 8 of 17. And it's what, November right now? Yeah, November. So not too old. That's the biggest thing because, you know, if you go through some tech, that can be a pain. And you can always tell the date of the bottles. I think it's like five years I'd be recertified if you get a pain in the butt tech. Uh, nice. Got a gauge port already up here at the billet valve. I mean, um, it's always like these nitrous outlet bottles. I mean, they're, they're just really good looking. Get this view of it because uh, where that light was blending it out. But yeah, that's uh, that's that part of it. That's a little quick update. Looking at probably spraying like a probably 150, 200 shot to it. Um, I just know I talked to my tuner. He's saying the transmission is good for about 900 to 1,000 wheel without having any issues. So that's what we're aiming for. Uh, and then of course we do it on bottle. We can have a drivability like 700 or so horsepower streetcar and then spray it to get the thousand, which in my opinion is perfect. You know when you need extra power, it's there. When it's not, you don't need it. It's not there. I uh, got some other parts that are going to be coming in for this thing. I'll uh, make some more videos on that, kind of how we're going to get there. And then obviously when I get this stuff installed and, to, and start doing the tuning, we're going to definitely make some videos on that. But uh, as always, hit the like button and subscribe. You know.